right. If you've ever wanted to be part of the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra, well, you're going to have a chance. They are inviting the community to play with them on stage on January 27th. Joining me now is Nathan Aspinall, associate conductor for the symphony. This is the second year you've done this. So tell me, first of all, how you got the idea. Um, I mean, uh, it was a great idea we did for the first time last year. For a lot of people, a symphony orchestra is a weird, complicated thing. <laughs> and this is one way that we kind of change that perception. We invite anybody in the community who plays an instrument to come along um, and sit on the stage of Jacoby Hall and play a concert alongside the professional uh, musicians. It was a big success last year and we can't wait to do it again. So do you practice very much? We practice a little bit. So we have the la in the last week in January, the orchestra, um, the, the community musicians come and play and we rehearse. And part of that is they work with, um, they go off into their own instruments. So all the flutes go together, all the violins go together and they work out, um, you know, detailed things with a professional musician. Then we come together at the end of the week and perform a concert. And we're looking at some of the pictures from last year. And I think one thing that just demonstrates how well it went last year is you already have 73 people signed up this year. Which is even more than last year. So, so we can't wait. I, I think that's, I mean, it's just a, a, so what were some of the reactions from some of the people that got to, because this is adults only, in fact, you have to be 22 years old to even participate. Yeah, you know, it's something as professional musicians we take for granted, but to, to, to sit on the stage and perform some of the most beautiful pieces ever written is a real privilege. And for a lot of people that don't normally get to do that, it was really meaningful to them and they, they had a great time. And, and it puts, like you said, some of the spark back in to some of the regular members of the symphony because they realize, you know, really what an honor it is uh -huh. to, to be up there. And also people, you know, when they're younger, they learn an instrument uh, and they might play it at school, but then as they get older, other things in their life take over. And this is a way to go back to that really beautiful experience of playing an instrument. Well, for some people, not for me, because <laughs> it, it was the flute and it was, it was a long, long time ago. <laughs> But no, this is so, so you have 73 people signed up, like I mentioned, but there's particular instruments that you're still looking for right now. Right, so we have a particular, um, we're particularly looking for bassoon players and double bass players. So if there are any out there and they'd like to um, come and play, get in touch with the symphony, go to jacksymphony.org because we want you, we want it to be a big success. And Yes, and, and the other part of that big success is the people in the audience. So let's talk about that because you want people to come out and experience this. I know a lot of the family members of those people, of those uh, people that are going to be on stage for the first time um, and who are not there regularly will be in the audience. But how can the public attend? You should definitely come along. It's on the 27th of January and it's, it's different to other concerts. You know, when you come to hear the symphony orchestra, it's always a very kind of polished precise package. This this concert can be a little more wild, a little more unpredictable. <laughs> We're not quite sure what's going to happen. So if you're into that and you want to take a risk, then come along. All right, we'll come and see the um, the Wild Symphony. <laughs> um, that is going to be on the 27th. And um, there are no auditions. Again, we mentioned you have to be 22 or older to, and you have to be able to read music. Very important. The symphony is still looking for people who can play the bassoon and the double bass, as Nathan mentioned. And if you're interested, you can call 354-5657 or go to jacksymphony.org.